Hello and welcome to NetBees. Today we will talk about the new features and improvements that were released in version 11.0 and 11.1. Version 11.0 was released on the 20th of October, 2022. The three most significant updates are the following. 1. A new guided first time onboarding experience. 2. Improved historical and real-time test graphs. And 3 a new login screen that supports enterprise authentication such as simple LDAP and Azure Active Directory. Let's start with the first improvement, the new guided first-time onboarding experience. This improvement will help first-time users to easily configure, in a few steps, the key resources that are required to successfully activate a new NetBees installation. In the new procedure the user can select to monitor predefined targets, invite other teammates to the dashboard, and email to the end users links to download and install the Windows or Mac OS based clients for monitoring. The second update is the new real time and historical tests visualization. One of the most important functionalities of NetBees is the ability to review real time and historical data to understand network performance and find root causes of end user experience issues. When the user clicks on a monitoring test, the visualization will report the real-time test data with the ability to overlap other metrics, such as jitter, MOS, as well as endpoint resources utilization such as CPU and memory. In version 11 we have also merged the real-time and historical test graphs into the same widget to further improve the troubleshooting process. By clicking on the historical button located at the bottom right portion of the widget, the user can easily expand the time window of the plotted data. The main chart can be selected with the mouse, enabling a second chart at the bottom that displays the selected time period. Version 11.1 .1 was released on the 3rd of February, 2023. The three most significant updates are the following. 1. The Create Target workflow was updated to include SAS and other target templates. 2. Weekly report emailed to all users. And 3. Support for Windows Server systems that can be used as network monitoring agents. Let's begin with the new target creation workflow that includes SaaS templates and more. With this improvement, monitoring SaaS applications and on-premise services is much easier than before. When creating a new target, the user can select the type of target that needs to be monitored by the agents. This is done by offering three options. The first one is to monitor a SaaS applications, such as Microsoft Teams, Salesforce, or Zoom. The second option is to select a target template to monitor a web application, a domain name service, VPN connections, or the gateways of endpoints. The traditional method to create targets is still available under the custom target option. Weekly status reports. The weekly status report allows you and your team to stay on top of your network and application performance. Each weekly report provides insights into agents, targets, and Wi-Fi networks by highlighting the five least performing ones. The report includes detailed information on factors like number of alerts for agents, time and incidents for targets, and failed connection attempts for Wi-Fi networks. These reports will be automatically sent straight to dashboard users inbox every Monday morning server's time. 